Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoclash. This is episode 6, which will probably be the final episode, as we have returned to Halston with Golem, who still claims that he can put an end to all conflict here. But first, we need to fight our way to the family plaza. I do find it interesting that Deidre said that there's only one gate into Halstom. But like, look how fucking massive the city is. You're gonna tell me there's only one way in? Is there just a massive wall around the entire city? Oh, those iframes. Ooh, oh, there's still another rat. Okay. Grab that health. So, we got these two who are trying to cancel out Golem by holding on to the mechanisms. Oh no, that's Remod, isn't it? I recognize that womanly scream of anger anywhere. Yep, there she is. You won't get away with it. Make sure to beat on all of your sisters before returning home. Man, this is actually uh, kind of rough. Getting shot a lot. Fire. There's a lot of guns in play. Stay in cover back here where Deidre can cover us. down. He's got a bone sword. Which probably means there's gonna be another heavy showing up. Alright, we need to take out that guy on the right. Because he's the only one that's still walking. I don't think you're gonna fire at anyone now. <laughs> Alright, now they're both trying to shoot me. The musket is a little better for long distance shooting here. Okay, got the gate open, which means there should be some more health in here. Thankfully, they are pretty generous with the number of healing fruit they give you in every arena. Like, it's not enough that you can just endlessly heal, but it's enough that you can take some hits in every fight. This guy keeps getting knocked back. All right, that's everybody. You got anything to say about this? No? Oh good, two heavies. Ethereum and <laughs> Dinother. Ethereum is like some kind of rat bear, almost. <laughs> We've also been given two hammers, though. What did 
you just trip over? Oh, okay. I just didn't hit him at all, apparently, there. Got bounced. See, I don't think you actually do less damage when the, the head is broken off, but in this fight, it might actually be noticeable. <laughs> Just bounces right off. It seems like Therium never blocks the way this guy does. Yeah, invincibility frames again. Come on. So obviously, we have had refights with almost every character we've encountered. I'm tired of this quarreling inside our family. But you're supposed to be dead. Follow me. <coughs> Honestly think the father-mother looked, uh, a bit more impressive with the robe. But yeah, I was gonna say, I don't really mind the fact that you refight characters, because it feels like it makes sense. It doesn't just feel like they reuse the same ones for no reason. So Who yes. Are you? Father Mother survived, but Father, mother, did lose an I eye. I have come here to bring fair treatment for ah! you, you have, have no business with our family. Gats be a bad boy. <coughs> I should have punished him long ago. Come here. Come here right now. Father Mother! Yeah. Let him come. It's Father who has to teach him his lesson. I'm switching to my father aspect for this fight. So, refight with father mother. I didn't actually mean to throw those. No! Same strategy applies. Got the chicken legs. We shoot the chicken legs, then we punch him in the head. I think Gastornis is trying to help, but he's mostly just hiding behind a pillar. He's waiting for his chance to run up and kick the guns out of my hands. Get out of here, you little shit. Coming out now. Fighting the whole family. <laughs> this is not great because there's not much healing at all in this fight. <laughs> Mmm, I stood like right on top of that one. We're probably gonna die here. So 
Sometimes it feels like the fish guns just won't fire even when I still have plenty of ammo left. I was so close. So yeah, that was actually the first death. No cinematic grab or anything there, you just die. <laughs> I'm not really sure how the block counter works on them because it seems like they block and I hit him with a strong attack and then he just hits me anyway instead of taking the hit. It's a shame that they don't seem to take any damage from the slams. <laughs> See, I'm trying to hit the knee, but really I should just be aiming for the center because it counts as both hits. Pinned in that corner. I'm gonna get crushed. Oop. Alright, tiny bit of health left. Like, this is not a very difficult fight, but those bombs do so much damage if you get caught on them. Victory! <laughs> and still, Deidre has not found out Father Mother's secret. This is a problem. Behind you! <laughs> Where did you get that hammer? <laughs> Looks so tiny and dinky in their hands. Now everybody gets to have broken wrists. Seems like Gat grabbed his opposite hand, though. Oh no, I guess. Inverted. Mirrored. Even. <laughs> Defeated. You could either tell my secret or destroy me. I'm glad you didn't tell my secret. I'm not going to tell. And I'm not going to kill you either. I do consider you my father and mother. You just have to stop doing what you do with the children. Cat wouldn't tell you father mother has a secret. What? How can we all not be birthed from then? Hey, remember that pig lady? She's a male creature, incapable of giving birth to anyone or anything. He took each one of you away from your real fathers and mothers when you were babies. And replace them with pigs, In which time, nobody thought I can was weird. Prove this to each one of you, and to show you your real families. There are 
are things bigger than Halston, and things bigger even than Xenozoid. This too I will show you. So that's why when we first ran into Father Mother in the Forbidden Zone of the Northern Gate Gang, now, it was a pig pen. You have been linked by a fake bone. <coughs> Meanwhile, another golem with equally pointy pecs. So that's it. That's the end of Xenoclash. Now, I've seen some people be like, oh, that's kind of a weak ending because they don't explain anything about golem or anything like that. But I think that's kind of not the point of this first game. This really is pretty much down to the conflict between Gat and Father Mother. And all of the the extra stuff about the world is just that. It's extra stuff to question and think about. Now, some of that does get explained in the sequel, but not all of it. But there's a pretty major plot point that comes up about the world itself that I'm not going to spoil, but does kind of give you a better idea of the world that they're living in and the purpose of the golems. I don't know if I'm going to LB the second game, because like I said, it definitely still is, I think, a little ambitious for this team, especially at the time, because they're a little bigger now, I believe, but at the time, Xenoclash 2 didn't come out that long after the first game, but it is a more open world game where you have quests and side quests and feels a little less focused. And I actually feel that they kind of went with, I guess, technically better voice acting for some of the characters. That sounds less interesting than some of the weird accents and stuff they have in this. Because I think, like I said, the voice acting is pretty good through this. There's definitely some people who are... People who didn't speak English first, but have an accent that shows up in their voice acting. That I don't think detracts from it because of the, the chaotic mishmash of the characters in this world. This place is full of all different races, all speaking more or less the same language, so it makes sense that they all have different ways to say it. I think we just get a black screen after the credits. It never goes back to the main menu or anything. But yeah, that's Xeno Clash. I think it's a very cool game. Uh, the combat still feels good, it's just I wish there was a few more moves mixed in. But... It was still enjoyable to play. And actually, let's see if we can quit back to the main menu. Uh, I think that will just quit out completely. So, I'm glad I got around to doing this LP and sharing this very strange world that the three brothers came up with. And I'm glad that they, they kind of got to make the game they wanted to make and even continue it into a second game, despite some of the initial problems they ran into. But maybe we'll do the sequel at some point, not anytime soon, since it is also a longer game, and I don't have room for it right now. There's too many things happening at once. I'm doing like five or six LPs. But yeah. So, I've been Shadefire, this was Xenoclash, and thank you for joining me for this punch fest through family conflict. Until next time, take care, everyone. <laughs>